Give it up, and I will get out of your seat, so make a lot of for the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Glory! <laughs> begins today it has no end that it continues forever and it's something that brings great delight to our father in heaven and I think it's going to bring great delight to a lot of people that get to look in from the outside in this day forward you must decide what it looks like to be husband and wife this is your journey it's your story it's your relationship as God is writing it Kevin, there are so many things I could say here that describe the man that you are, that describe your intelligence, your beauty to me, but I saw something that said a vow is more, is more than some nice words on paper. It's a promise to commit day in and day out. It's a promise to pledge someone's whole heart and soul, body and to the other. When we first met, I felt how understanding and fun you were. I knew it was forever when I would catch myself daydreaming of a family. <clears throat> of a family uh, life beyond where we were at that moment. You are kind when it's hard to be and tender when it's the only thing that helps after a long day. You are my friend, my confidant, and partner. I know I can trust on on our on our journey through life. I love you and I can't wait for the rest of this day. And I'll cherish it forever. I met Kevin 10 years ago. My first impression, did Dwayne the Rock Johnson have a baby with Woody from Toy Story? Oh yeah. Hat buckle and boots. He was very country. that you are my best friend Emily. You're my rock. You make me laugh until I cry and I can't put into words how much it means to me that I know that you're always there whenever I need you for whatever I need. Quickly over time Kevin became more than a friend and more like family to the point he spent more nights at my house than his own to which the mornings that weren't so pleasant due to early rising and morning cleaning. He may have been attacked by a vacuum once or twice. I'm proud to, at the woman that you have become, and I'm excited at the wife and the mom that you're going to be. I know this. I, Mom and I tell you all the time, we adore and we love you to death. And we'll always have, as I'm sure Kevin and Michelle will always have both of your backs. All right? She and I were very close. 
She was the first one that could say dada. family, loved ones, man, this is it. But what makes it it is that we get to be here today to celebrate you guys. Celebrate a story that God has written in your life. And so I want you guys to know that it means everybody here gathered, it means so much to Kevin and Emily that all of you could be here today because not only have they built a strong bond with each other, but they also have a very special and unique bond with each of you. And so the fact that you're here to celebrate with them, their families, and the friendships that are represented. They wanted to begin by expressing love and gratitude for the presence of all that could be here in a moment like this. Gives this beautiful bride to be married to this man. A mother and I. Kevin, can you grab your bride and bring her forward? I asked Emily, I said, Emily, tell me what it is about Kev that makes you love him so much. And she said, I think it's Kevin's heart that I love the most how kind and gentle his kind heart can be, but also how he can make me laugh. Kevin is determined, goal-oriented. He makes me feel safe. He makes me feel loved so effortlessly. So I said, Kevin, how do you know that Emily is your person that you want to spend the rest of your life with? And he said, for reasons already listed, of course, and so much more, she is my life as long as I have her. I have everything I need to be fulfilled. I'm devoted to her. I'm committed to doing everything in my power to see our hopes and dreams realized. I feel secure with her. I know we're a great team. And every day I fall more in love with her. I, Kevin. Take you, Emily. Take you, Emily. To be my wife. To be my wife. <laughs> Take you, Kevin. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. To love and to cherish. Until parted by death. Until parted by death. Kevin, do you promise to the best of your abilities to spend today and every day forward living out those vows promise by saying, I do. I do. I do. I pronounce you husband and wife. Kevin, you may kiss your bride. And I know you wonder why I act the way I do. It is my honor for the very first time to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kevin and Emily Geary. Everything I am belongs to you. You're the only one that I turn to Dinner by the candlelight Country songs and pillow fights I'd spend all my days falling for you Yeah There's a bunch of ingredients to, to marriage But my three of this Number one is love You gotta have love That's why you're here today Love to me is the glue of the relationship Number two, communication. You have, in a marriage, all marriages have to communicate. You're gonna be faced with lots and lots of decisions together. 
And then three is trust. We all know trust is important. You got to trust your partner. Maybe we should get it back. Ooh, and I know you. I wonder why I act the way I do. After everything that we did through. I just want to make you feel brand new. showing up you're not the only two that are going to be showing up for each other I and all the whole Spencer family are going to be showing up for you guys forever officially from today on welcome to the family my new brother I want to end it with the great words from Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Your babies will be smart and beautiful. Welcome to the family, Emily, and congratulations. I have found Kevin to be a hard worker, a go-getter, one who sets short and long-term goals and, and sets out to achieve them. But the biggest thing I think I love about him as he puts a big smile on this girl's face. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to raise your glass and let's make one more toast to the newest team, Kevin and Emily Geary. I feel good. Cause baby, I got bills to pay.